Jake has topical anesthetic in his palate. This is where the AMSA injection is. Go ahead and lift your head high. I like to use these Optergates from Ivaclar. It's a non-latex dam and cheek retractor. The best way to put these on is you just wet it. Spread it. You can see it has a stiff outer ring, a stiff inner ring. You go ahead and separate the two. You squeeze in the center. Open for me, Jake. You put one side in, put the other side, put the inner ring behind the lower lip in front of the teeth, and then the upper, and there's our retraction. You can see we have great retraction. We can utilize this to take impressions because we have our vestibule. We also, if we were going to do a collaboration, especially with horseshoe articulating paper, tap up and down, you can see he's able to open and close. All right. Is that pinching at all? No. Nope. Okay. So chin up for me as much as you can and open as wide as you can. Ideally, what we're going to do, and we're going to anesthetize for the single central, but even if it was premolar to premolar, let's say for 10 veneers, we pick a site, imagine the mid palatal suture, imagine that line, imagine a line right on the gingival margin of the premolars, and then you split the premolars. So it's halfway between the gingival margin of the premolars and the mid palatal suture, and splitting the premolars. So basically right there. Now, do you feel that at all? Okay, so the topical has worked. The way we give this anesthetic is we place the bevel of the needle just against the tissue. Don't penetrate through the tissue. Against the tissue until we get a little bit of blanching. Then we go ahead and put our foot on the foot pedal. You'll hear a beep. After four beeps, the machine actually comes on and says cruise, which means you can take your foot off the foot pedal. And then we put this bevel after the after the blanching, we put the bevel just slightly underneath the tissue, wait about three or four beeps, slightly another millimeter or so, three or four beeps, another millimeter. What we're doing is chasing the anesthetic. Jake, you may feel a little pinch and certainly some pressure, okay, and it's okay. probably going to taste really bad. Open for me, so I'm going to go ahead and take the bevel of the needle, putting against the tissue on the foot pedal. You can see the tissue start to blanch. There, the STA just said cruise. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the tissue a little bit. Two, three, four, about four beeps, a little bit further. Okay. That's the aspiration, so it's actually pulling it back into the syringe, the handpiece. All right. So he already has a little bit of anesthetic uh, superficially in about the millimeter, two millimeters in the tissue. So shouldn't feel this at all. Do you feel that? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. Four beeps, another millimeter in. Four beeps, another millimeter. Do you feel that at all? Mm -mm. Now we're going to Go ahead all the way to periosteum. How you doing, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to give him about a half a carpel. Again, there's the aspirate. Let me give him a little bit of water. This is septic, 4% septicane, articane hydrochloride. Again, tastes terrible. All right, I'm going to do the other side. Turn toward me. Now, I'm going to give an example as if I was, let's say, seating eight or ten veneers. I'd want both sides to be anesthetized. He'll have anesthetic, full tooth anesthetic and the palate from the first molar to the first molar. And about 10% of the time I get some buccal anesthetic, but no lip anesthetic. So same thing, right against the tissue. One, two, three, four. Go about a millimeter in, two, three, four, another millimeter, one, two, three, four, and then I'll continue that until I have about a half carpial, a quarter of a carpial, or a half carpial per side. And I'll have full anesthetic, typically I can see eight to ten veneers, two, two and a half hours, with only one carpial or less. And the nice thing about this is he will have only two injection sites in his palate, the amount of anesthetic is obviously re reduced significantly. And as we check the smile, check the shade, check the shape, he will have full ability to smile.